Savannas are tropical grasslands found in Africa, India, Australia, and South America. Savannas never undergo freezing temperatures and maintain a hot climate for most of the year. As a consequence, savannas are more species rich and diverse than temperate grasslands. Tropical savannas cover a third of the world's land surface but are the least protected habitat. The majority of the savannas in South America are seasonal savannas, or better defined as the Cerrado habitat. The Cerrado is a mix of open forest and savanna caused by a pronounced dry season and nutrient poor soil. The Cerrado covers a quarter of Brazil's land area. In Bolivia, Cerrado is found along the northern border. The Beni Savanna is the largest inundated savanna in the world, covering an area of 126,000 square kilometers, 50,000 square miles. It is classified as hyper-seasonal savanna, where the soil is flooded continuously for months during the rainy season, but dries out for months in the dry season. The Barbasul Nature Reserve protects two main types of savanna, small areas of Cerrado. I'm right now north of one of the predominant islands in Barbasul Nature Reserve. This is a Motoku Forest Island, and this is the transition zone as it changes into savanna. That sound there is a black owler monkey, by the way. This is an area that's raised, but is not near water. As a consequence, it's Cerrado habitat, a habitat that's very common in Brazil. Cerrado habitat is an area that goes through strong dry seasons, but, but doesn't flood, so it's slightly treed, but, but it's affected by the dry season, and that's what we have here. The majority of the Barbasul Nature Reserve is covered by hyper-seasonal savanna, where the seasonal flooding extends beyond the actual rainy season. I'm here in the Barbasul Nature Reserve now in the end of February, which is pretty much the end of the rainy season. As a consequence of that, most of this savanna, I'd say about 90% of the savanna in Barbasul is flooded. This is a, a natural occurrence and part of what makes this the savanna habitat a natural savanna. What I mean is it's, it doesn't depend on large mammal grazing or burning to not change from savanna to go through succession levels becoming eventually a forest. Because of the seasonally flooding and the seasonal strong dry season, the only habitat that can really exist and maintain here is a complex tropical savanna habitat. So would you believe that right now I'm standing in tropical savanna habitat? This underneath here is a flooded savanna. In six months, this whole area will be a grassland area. But for now, from the river has overflown and it becomes a lake environment, including completely aquatic vegetation. So this entire area will go through a complete habitat change from a high rising uh, lake to a tropical savanna every year. <laughs>